What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another Ark Survival Evolved building tutorial. Today's is for a very unique little build. We are going to be working on an ice fishing hut, a fishing cabin, out here in the middle of the lake on the amazing Ragnarok map. I'm excited. Join me today for this unique little build. Welcome back, geeks. We are going to be settling in today to a bit of an unusual build, and I'm inspired by the location. We're here on the Ragnarok map at 45.4, 49.8, more or less. And uh, I, I, like I said, this is not going to be the most useful build for the people out there in the world, you art geeks. But I think it's going to be a bit unique, and it's certainly what I'm inspired to do right now. So uh, if you notice, when you snap your first foundations here, they sit very, very high off the ice. And that is not what we're looking at. If you are used to ice fishing huts, they are right on the ice. So what we're going to do is use a uh, trick with pillars in order to lower it. So to start this build, guys, go ahead and place your first pillar. And then to one side, you have a, a snap point that is a full foundation off like that. That is not the one we need. To the other side, you will have an option to snap a half foundation off uh, as opposed to all the way out there right and every time you do these two are at the same height this one actually sits slightly lower so that every time you do this go ahead and break the two taller the taller one every time you do this you lower things ever so slightly so you could have one foundation like this and another one that sits at that height so we're lowering it just a, a, a hair's width every time um, but that's what we're going to do here and by my memory whoops you need uh, about six steps of lowering to get it where you want it i think that is our third or fourth we'll check it here in a sec and let's see how we're looking so I want to go one step lower than that, um, but you could keep this one, guys. And then when you go one step lower, uh, which would be out here. Yeah, so it's really up to you guys, wh wherever you want to stop. If you don't have the no clip setting, you're going to get to a point here where you're going to get uh, obstructed and you won't be able to place the wooden foundation. I think we're going to go ahead and use that one. That looks like the right height to me. And then that is going to be the beginning of our place. Um, what we need to do here and I'm just just planning it out for us, guys. I want the build to I want the build to have the perfect uh, the perfect backdrop. I like that, and I think that is the backdrop right there. So what we're gonna do is build this little two by two, and next to it I'm going to build a two by four, leaving this spot empty. So it will come out like this, like so. Okay, so let's zoom on out. So you see the two by two off to the left, a two by four right here, and we've gone ahead and left that middle one right on the corner. We have left that empty, and I'll tell you why. Because if you are ice fishing, you can't fish through a solid foundation. You need this. You need a hatch frame. Before you place it, though, uh, you will notice this, that frustrating little gap. It bothers me a lot. So before you go ahead and place that, you're going to grab your wooden fence foundations. And to the inside of the hole, off of each of these foundations, uh, with one exception, that one won't look like it's on the inside, but it is, uh, there is a snap point to the inside like so. If you go ahead and do that, and then we slap in a wooden hatch frame, that gap is now gone, and you now have the foundation for your place. Not even a hint of a gap, but if there was, you could always add another one of these foundations right here on the edge, and that's helping to uh, helping to kind of hide that little gap. We are going to go ahead and get rid of that, and we're going to place actually a uh, pillar that is going to be here for good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place that one in there. Uh, this would be the time, if you want to alter the design to put pillars on the corners or anything like that, this would be the time to add in more fence foundations. After this, it's only going to get more difficult. Um, but now that we've done that, guys, that is the beginning of the build, and we get to move on to what is going to... It's going to be fairly simple from here on out. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a wooden door frame. We'll put one door there, and I think that's going to be the only one we bother with. And then we are going to do wooden walls uh, around the outside here. I also brought wooden window frames. I'm just not sure where... Uh, the best place to incorporate those is. I think maybe I'll do two on the ends down here because um, we're going to run into a few little issues as we decorate this place. Uh, you will see the ceilings that I've chosen to use are the adobe ones. And they, like the thatch, actually give you an issue where your head will not be able to pass under them depending on the angle. So we got to be very careful, I guess, with the placement of things. Um, let's go ahead and do this we'll just leave those two windows there for now the one door and we'll do walls all around and that is the interior of our little cabin pretty big for a nice fishing cabin but very very small for an ark house so that is uh, that's where that inspiration comes from we're also going to need uh, you can use thatch but you're going to need some ceilings and let's go ahead and put this on C cold out there this guy looks like he's ready for the cold don't you think oh yeah 
ready for action. All right. Oh, I broke my wall. Okay. So the next step here, guys, is uh, to put a couple ceilings here and here. And those are actually going to uh, let us place some inside out walls. All right, and up we go, guys. So here is where we add in a little bit of detail, and it, it sort of will make this stand out a little bit when we get around to a paint job for the place. Instead of snapping that there the regular way, you're going to come up here, get it so it looks like it's going the wrong way, and then look at your feet. So we're actually snapping to this ceiling. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the other one here and look at my feet, and I'm going to get that the inside out texture, that wooden ladder no longer needed, and that is what that looks like. Let's go ahead and do that on this corner here as well like so okay perfect we'll get those out of there and that is the beginning so uh what we're going to be doing guys like i said i think i decided i want to use this roof i know it's designed traditionally for the desert but with the right paint job it's going to fit in in any scenario the issue we're going to have guys is we have to pick either this spot right here to add sloped walls or this spot one or the other. And if we pick this one, what's gonna happen, uh, here, let's go ahead and just do that for the moment so I can demonstrate. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna have an adobe ceiling sticking down like that. And here's where the issue comes in. I can't walk through there. Uh, and that's an issue with adobe ceilings that doesn't exist with, I think, wood and stone. It does with thatch. So pick and choose your roofing material depending on how you wanna do this. Because of that, I'm actually going to uh, put my other peak out here on the back of the house across from the entrance so let's do that now and like so let's go ahead and get that down this down and there you go guys so this place like i said come together fairly quick uh, let's go ahead and add in some roofs like this so the roofing of this place guys should come together fairly quickly for you once we've done this little bit of the the dirty work here and snap this in place so uh, if you do not have um that clipping setting, you're gonna have trouble doing this. Uh, it, it is a, it's something that Arc, Arc changed on us a while back where you have to enable a setting that allows you to clip things in like that. Now, if we wanted to, you could add that other arch here, but I already explained why that'll cause problems. If you come down here, there is no avoiding this piece right here that is gonna cause us that issue. And there's no avoiding these two pieces here, which are gonna cause us that issue. So you would have to crouch to get under and through those. I haven't quite figured out the best way to avoid that, except to use a different uh, roofing material on one half of the house. Uh, this first longer half of the house, if you did wanna use a different roofing material, you could. Um, you could also make this side shorter. It really doesn't need to be this big. All right, guys, so there are uh, issues you get when you try and build a low roofed building. Uh, you kind of have to pick and choose your roofing materials uh, to suit your needs. Uh, so the one thing that I might do to uh, deal with this, this is fine. You can walk right into here. The one thing I might do is move that wall closer. You could have that wall and that peak right on this line or on the next line across or you just don't let it bother you and you have to crouch every time you go through there. I don't know how annoying that's going to be, but it might be. Um, but this is the interior of the place. I'm going to go put, um, grab some doors and windows. Uh, we're going to put a couple little details in and then we're going to decorate the place. All right, Geek, so welcome back. We are going to be adding in some finishing touches here. I think we have a lot of options when it comes to windows. The standard wooden window would work, uh, as would greenhouse glass. Now this definitely would work. I feel like you tend to have small rickety windows in a uh, in a fishing cabin. The other thing I wanted you to consider was the adobe. I feel like with the right paint scheme, it's going to look look right fitting in that little gap. The only problem is it, it doesn't quite fit. It leaves a little space there right on the hinge side because uh, the different shape of the windows. I think I'll get rid of that and I think we'll go with the greenhouse glass uh, for the windows. And then we got to come around here and find one, uh, a choice for our front door. Uh, now, once again, you could go with the Adobe. I think it would look good once you get some paint on here, but you will get that little gap. Uh, the other real option is wood. I wouldn't do a greenhouse door. I don't think that would look right. Being that it's an ice fishing cabin, they tend to be a little bit rickety anyway. I thought I'm going to leave that like that. I, I think I like it. Uh, so this place needs a paint job. It also needs a uh, way to keep warm. Uh, usually there is like a small sort of pot belly stove or a, a small furnace, uh, electric heaters, I guess, in some of these. Um, but we'll have the option here to uh, nestle a fireplace right on this little corner, right next to our ice fishing hut. You can see I'm clipping that into the wall without that 
no clip setting, you will struggle to get the exact same positioning as me, but there should be a position somewhere around here that's going to work for you guys. I'm going to tuck it right here. You know what? Let's just do that. Perfect. And we'll have a look on the outside and see how that looks for us. Perfect. Okay. So there you go, guys, a little ice fishing cabin. Uh, I am ready to put some paint on this. Then I'm going to take a break, ask my Patreon supporters what they think I should do to decorate the place. Um, my tutorials this month, uh, for the most part, have been from our uh, creative building server that we set up for our Patreon supporters. I have been struggling to log into that one of late. So I'm building this on my own personal server. So sadly, I cannot get my uh, my geeks to come and decorate it like I did with the Autumn House and some of the other designs we've done over the last little while. I'll have to do this one on my own, but I will go get their advice. And um, before we get that far, guys, let's grab our paints. Now for me, I am not going to be going too crazy. The colors that I've chosen, uh, forest and brown and brick. And I think a little bit of parchment is going to come into play as well. Uh, so let's start with the parchment. And I think it's going to be region six. Is that right? Region one. So for I'm going to paint these, uh, these inverted little triangles, region one. We're going to go ahead and paint those with parchment, like so. And then we're going to grab some green. And the green, whoops, the green is going to go everywhere else. So it's going to give us a little bit of color like that, highlighting these little spots right here, like so. Now, uh, there is no way to not paint those. So those will be painted on the inside. Uh, the same painting region paints the outside and the in for some stupid reason. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> it can be a little frustrating. So what we're going to do now, instead of two through four, we're just going to pick region number one, if memory serves correctly. No, not one, six. Region six, and I think we're going to paint the outside of these wooden walls. That's right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and slap green paint on these, like so, until we've gone all the way around, adding a little bit of color, a little bit of detail here. Uh, I think we'll come back and, and do those, those little details there in uh, parchment. But let's slap the rest of the green on here. All right, like so. There you go, guys. So that, that's a first little peek at how I've decided to decorate this. Let's come back down here. Is that, was that? Yeah, that's the right color. We'll take this off. We'll do region two, three, four. And we'll paint these little bits of highlight and detail right there. I think that's going to work for us. Uh, now, the other color I had wanted to incorporate was a brick. Um, Let's go ahead and grab our green once again. And I think it's going to be region somewhere somewhere in that two, three, four range. I want to paint this little bit of wooden uh, backing on our uh, adobe ceilings. I want to paint that in green. So let's have a look here. Okay. So I think it's going to be region four, five now. That's my best guess. Yes. So region five is going to give you those, the uh, little bit of trim on the bottom and regions two, three, and four are these little nubs here and these little nubs. So I'm going to hop myself up on the roof and uh, paint all of that green trim. So there you go, guys. That That's what that looks like. Once you've got it done, a little bit of color on all of these. Um, on the uh, For the rest of the roof here, it's really up to you. What we're going to do right now, grab a little brick uh, paint. I think it looks, it's one of the best looking colors uh, for the Adobe. So let's grab this and it's going to be uh, region one is going to give you the uh, modeled sort of clay bit on top of the terracotta tiles. Uh, and I think those colors work well together. All right. And up we go. Let's paint these up. Beautiful. Ooh. Bad, dangerous slippery up there watch that step all right so i'll get this on and then it's up to you whether you decide to paint uh, the little detail bits um, i think i'm going to take the same parchment paint and uh, add it to uh, the rest of these roofs and here we go guys you can see how subtle these changes are i don't know if i painted this one yet like so but now you just have a little bit of parchment paint on these little nubs here and on these now if we come to the inside i think i have region two, three, and four enabled. Got a little bit of paint uh, detailed on these. If you wanted to carry that parchment paint to the inside, I think that would, oh no, region five must be the trick. So once region five is done, you can go ahead and do these if you want to carry that color scheme to the inside and match what you got up here. And I think we're, we're looking pretty good here, guys. I won't be touching the floor, I promise you that. Uh, I like it in its natural wood color. The fireplace can get paint. Uh, I'm not sure what would look good. Let's go ahead and throw some brown paint on there, maybe. 
uh, and we'll try it on all the regions and just see. Yeah, I like that. I think that's going to work for us. Uh, if you wanted to, you could paint the floors, but you lose the sort of rustic texture when you paint. Um, it uh, it goes kind of like shiny looking if you do that. So you lose a bit of the texture. It's up to you whether you want to do that. That is how we're looking right now, guys. I, uh, I got to do something with this front door and to paint these back windows. I think I will try and carry on some of the brick color for the windows. I think it's just region two I need to worry about. We'll see how that looks. Back up. You know what? That's not too bad. And then we come over here to the front door. I'm thinking maybe... Um, I would like to get a little bit of brick color in here. And then uh, I'm going to put a little bit of tan right there. Or parchment right there as well. And then I'll grab a little bit of forest to finish the job. So that would be region three, I think. Yeah. Something to that effect, guys. I don't know. It's up to you when you get the details in. That does it for the basics of this place. Obviously, you would want some chairs around uh, your fishing hole. But I'm going to go see what I have in terms of mods for decorating the interior of this. And I, I know I have some good stuff. So I'll be back in your life in just a moment. All right, geeks. There we go. I did a little bit of work uh, on the outside, decorating it up, maybe a little cook spot. But what I'm thinking is we actually explore this. It's a little bit darker. And welcome back, guys. I've brought you back when it's dark. I just want to show off this. This is from the Eco uh, Camping mod, this hand lantern. How fantastic is that? I love that. Um, so we got this hand lantern. Obviously, we pull that out whenever we need it. Works a lot like a torch. But um, I went and decorated this little outside bit. There is a little tent there, a little backpack, a little lantern, a little fire right here, which really lights up the ice in a really eerie way. A little log bench. And um, if you come on inside, I've got a little decoration there. Not much on the outside. I put a couple little awnings over here that you would think maybe you put those down over top of the windows if it gets super windy. Another little lantern out there. Then if we poke our heads on the inside, and let's go, do I need my lantern? No. Should be plenty bright in here. Come on in. I got a little corner with, here, I will get it out, with a uh, little bookshelf, little uh, candle, and a little polar bear rug. Um, and I decorated the inside up. I tried to find anything that vaguely resembled fishing. Uh, so we got an angler fish up there. I think I put a Dunkleo down on uh, that end down there. And down here, I've gone ahead and got us a, a little bunk bed, a couple of sleeping bags, um, uh, carpet, uh, and, and built everything around this. This is your sort of central point. Uh, so that pillar we originally put in, uh, is uh, the center point. I hung a lantern off there, and you can see that burning up there. Got our little ice fishing hole, which at night looks like water. It really does. A couple benches around here. I did a little cooking station here. You got some pots and pans. You got a big barrel full of fish, uh, and then the campfire, uh, the fireplace itself can light up, and yeah, that does look like an ice fishing hole, doesn't it? Um, I'm, I know it's a weird little design. Uh, I know if you use the exact same materials I do, you kind of have to crouch to get through here. So maybe not a perfect build, maybe not my best design, but I really do like it. I like how it feels on the inside. Let's go ahead and flip it to daytime and we'll see. And there you go, guys. That's it. So that campfire even has a little fish cooking on it. This is how the place looks out here in the snow biome. It's super contrasty, so you don't get to see a lot of the color we put on the place, but depending on where you put this, you will. And come on in. This is how we look during the day. I'm pretty happy with this little spot. All these mods really make it make it make it work. But if all you're looking to do is is sort of like take your winter area and make it a little more thematic, a little more, I don't know. A little more engrossing than a, an ice fishing cabin might be the trick, but that does it for today, geeks. All right, geeks, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I know this was not probably the most useful build, but it was a unique little one, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Here is a playlist of some of my other building tutorials. Click on my face to subscribe, and if you've been around a long time, here is a link to my Patreon page. Uh, appreciate the love and support on these building tutorials, and I will see you geeks in the next one.